proof that we really understand your needs, our ASIS systems engineers have provided several features you'll really appreciate. So in this video, you'll learn how to change the date and time. And to conserve battery power, you'll also learn how to set a power off time and screen saver timeout. First, let's talk about one of the most confusing policies we human beings have ever thought of. Time zones. The Viper 2 Analyzer allows you to set the date and time to your current location, even if you live in Michigan. Setting the time is pretty straightforward. From the main menu, arrow down to Analyzer Management and press OK. Then select Analyzer Settings and press OK. Press OK one more time to select Set Date and Time. Now see what time it is and then match your analyzer's time in the 24-hour format. Remember, the Viper 2 Analyzer will reset itself when daylight saving time changes, but only if it knows what time zone it's in. Now that we have time under control, we also need to set the date. This should be pretty straightforward, right? Well, okay, just pick the one that makes sense to you. Remember, the date and time shows up on the job report later. Our engineers also appreciate that we can all get distracted sometimes. Therefore, we've also included an automatic power off setting. Head over to the Set Power Off Timeout in the Analyzer Settings menu. To enable the automatic power off feature, just use the right and left arrow keys to toggle to yes and then tell the analyzer how long you want it to wait before it says goodnight. Setting this feature could really save you time. It takes approximately three hours to charge the analyzer's battery from dead to full. Likewise, you can extend battery life by setting up the screen saver. This feature dims the screen after the number of minutes you choose. As soon as you press a key, the screen will automatically brighten again. Thanks for watching, and please enjoy any of our other 2 Minute Tip videos found on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash acesystems.tec.